Hi there. Thank you for joining me today. I'm back with the craft haul that um, I'd like to share with you. So let's get started. The first um, bundle is from Stamping Up. I've had to reorder the Knight of Navy cardstock. I've used all of them from my first order. I absolutely love this shade of navy. <coughs> Excuse me. We have a nice neutral shade. This is crumb cake. You get 25 um, sheets of A4 card in Stamping Up's cardstock. Last month I bought um, some pink card which is called Rococo Rose. I've and I also bought the stamping blends, the light and the dark, in the Rococo Rose. Um, I obviously forgot to buy the stamp pad, so we now have that for the set. I have this um, clear stamp set under my umbrella. I think this is lovely, and I've just uh, cut, well punched actually, uh, this because I have bought the coordinating umbrella punch and you get three separate um, cuts on this. So we have the umbrella open and half open I would imagine. And if I was doing this, I, you know, I would uh, possibly, if I was using this to make a card, um, I think I would maybe do the handle in a different colour. And then you can always, um, with your scoreboard and your um, score tool, you know, you could put some lines in but a lot easier using the punch. That's the stamp, the punch. Um, I've got the half inch and one inch circle punches. And this is the one and a half inch. So I've just used scrap to show you that. So very obviously that's the half inch, one inch one and a half but there is one in between the inch and one and a half inches so that will go on my order for next month the punches are heavy but they are so they're excellent you get a sharp cut every time uh, <coughs> excuse me and then i have the die set all dressed up there are 15 dies in this set and this goes with the stamp set that I purchased last month, Dress to Impress. We've got all those fabulous goodies in there. And the die set, I think that's a handle. Um, I'm not quite 100% sure on, on that, but I think it's a handle. But very obviously lipstick and shoe. And then we have these goodies here coordinating with some of the products in there. I'm looking forward to making several cards using this one. So because um, those purchase purchases came to over £45, I um, was entitled to a free item from the celebration and um, I chose this punch, this little flower punch. And again, I've um, just used some scrap card and punched that out and shaped it. You don't have to have it as turned up as that, but I've shaped it just to let you see what that was like. Right, that's stamping up. Then I have some products from Bumbleberry Crafts, Bumbleberry Paper Crafts. I'll put the link below. 
and I wanted to try these this purple tape which is different uh, to the purple tape that we have I thought I had one out I don't so I have used some of it and it really does come off your cardstock very easily it doesn't tear Bumbleberry Crafts stock a lot of um, American products, which I'm very pleased about. Um, and that's a good width size and plenty on the roll there. Gina K from Gina K Designs. Um, this is glue by her. And I've um, heard a lot of crafters say how excellent this is so it goes on white it dries clear it's um i think on a par with creative expressions uh, cosmic shimmer dries clear so i've used this a few times i'm very pleased with it i also because i usually get them from um amazon the stamp and die storage and this one is the 5x7 yes 5x7 I was desperate for these um, we have this die just a note I think that's an excellent little saying to have and you get the um, the words and the outline And I do think this is from um, Bumbleberry Crafts, but I've got another um, selection to show you from Craft Box. It may be from there, but I love the sayings on here. Um, ideal for mini albums and nothing to stop you using it on cards. But I just, I love this purified Epsom salts and flowers of sulphur, spirits of salt and, um, where was I looking at one where it says poison? I can't see that at the moment, but um, senna leaves, love it. Oops, that's one of the punches down <laughs> okay so now we will move on to craft box washi tape look at all of the rolls in that um and i love blue absolutely love blue and i think these are transfers transfers as opposed to um stick-ons not yet tried those but love the colors more washi tape I think this is gorgeous I love it and look at the size of the roll and the amount of washi tape on there I bought a 12 by 12 pad Oh, quite some time ago and it has um, sort of the 50s 40s 50s uh, images on of dresses and such like and I thought um, that would go very well with that we've got two cherubs I would use these uh, on a mini album again, either the front or on the spine. The cabochon. I think the only, this is repeated and that one. I'm sorry, I hope the, the light isn't putting you off here. So we have those and oh, I love these 
mini spoons. You get two, three, four, five in a pack. And I bought two packs. I love them. You'll be seeing those. Well, again, mini album. There's a lot I've bought specifically for mini albums. Um, but some of these you can quite easily use on cards. These are for the closures on mini albums. I think these may have been the last two where I would have bought some more. I love them. Love. We have, oh, some bigger keys. I'm keeping my favourite until last. There's a lot of stickers here. Let me put those out of the way. 60 pieces uh, in nearly all of the packets. Uh, this will show you on the back what you're getting. This one, um, so, yes, yeah, 60 pieces again. So we have all of those whales and starfish and what have you that correspond with those. And the washi tape. Deco stickers, um, doors, keys, cameras, clock, telephone. Love these with the the leaves. So delicate. And I love this set. I love the pastel colours are stunning. And we have butterflies. Um, and like a, a cage with flowers in. There's a stag as well. I just think they're so pretty. Pastel shades. Ideal for um, the men in your life now. So we have instruments and vehicles. Good selection. I love those phones. I love them. And this again would go with the paper pad I told you about earlier. Um, definitely 20s I would think. 20s and 30s era. And my favourite is doesn't have a name. I can't wait to put this on an album. So, goodness me, let's move this. We have this lovely chain. These very cute binoculars. Very cute. And this globe. I think this is absolutely fantastic so I would have that on the spine of a mini album okay so that is craft box I was in the works I just popped in there for nothing in particular just to have a look and as you see, these are all by Crafters Companion. This should have been £2.49 down to £2. I love this. Life is short, smile, while you still have teeth. Oh, I think that's a hoot. And we have Prosecco made me do it. And this one, which I've seen quite a few companies um, use this saying, when life hands you lemons, make a gin and tonic. When I was at um, a wreath 
making um, workshop at Hobbycraft a few weeks ago, I um, picked up these stickers uh, specifically to use on an album, a travel album. So we have the camera here and um, capture the moment. Yep, so that was from Hobbycraft. And lastly, I bought these from the range and I buy a lot of the A3 pads in black and white specifically for albums uh, but also you can, if you cut this in half, you've got um, A4 size and you get 25 sheets in this so in half obviously you get 50 and it's just a few pounds so that's a good buy and what I've started to do when I'm in the middle or I'm starting a project um, and I don't get it finished in a day or maybe if I'm just in my craft room for a few hours um, I'm using these tough bags and this is uh, a4 size yes a4 size so any spare bits of cardstock papers embellishments that i'm using can for that particular project i will all store in this one bag i thought two i will be getting some more of those they had a special offer on the craft uk limited uh, cards and envelopes. There's 50 in each pack. I've got two packs of 5x7 and one 6x6. Six six. I love the 5x7 as well as the 6x6 six six, but I'm trying to use this size now as opposed to the bigger ones, the 7 inch or 8 inch square. I, I still use those at times but more for uh, friends family who I'm handing a card to as opposed to putting them in the post so for these three packs um, the offer was £10 I thought that was a really good buy a few more things I picked up the packet of 6x6 um, clear plastic card bags I use the um, magnets when I'm making albums or sometimes um, boxes. I use uh, the mini albums. And a friend who I was with pointed out the magnetic craft tape. Now I'm sure I've seen this before, um, but not taken much notice of it. So I'm going to give that a try and see how that uh, compares to the little uh, magnets that I order from Amazon. These quickie glue pens are ideal just for small places on your card or whatever um, and putting gems on. I like to always add some glue when I'm using uh, gems because they do tend to pop off. Uh, over time so I've got another one of those I have two full ones actually somewhere in my craft room and nowhere near this box of uh, glues I've got so I'll come across those when I least expect they have these little dies um, this is X cut actually um, and as you see it's like a um, not so much a clock. <laughs> There's a name when the gentlemen have the um, watches and a fob on their waistcoat. So, bought that. And finally, the Do Crafts uh, chipboard stickers. I'll, I've never seen these before. I'm looking forward to using them. There's 30 pieces in here. 
and I think I would I don't know I might cover some of these I might paint them but again looking forward to having a play with those so that is my craft haul I now have to put them um, away in my new products to try box and thank you once again uh, for spending some time with me so until the next video take care and happy crafting bye